Good day, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Welcome back to the channel. It's me, it's me, it's AOB, back at you yet again with another video. Hallelujah! Yes, I am branding a shirt with my own name, and it is praising myself. Why wouldn't I wear this, eh? Eh? So, today we're gonna do something a bit different. What are we gonna do? We're gonna talk about franchises I've never seen that I probably should have by now. Simple enough. Why not? I'm bored, and it's a bit different. It's something different to talk about on the channel, right? And I've got it as a video idea, and it's not bad. It says, right here, video idea. No, number five. Uh, franchises you've never seen. That might be interesting. Yeah, so let's get talking about franchises I've never seen. Now, as some of these are probably going to shock people. Uh, people are going to look at me, a, a pretty big film fan, and think, how's he never seen them films? But that's the point of this video, shock value. Now, I think, as far as I know, only one fr film franchise on this list, I haven't actually seen any of the films. The rest, I've seen maybe one or two films in those franchises, but not all of them. So, yeah, there's one, but the rest I've seen at least one. Okay, so I get that out of the way. And it's not just film franchises I've never really seen, it's ones that I've even never seen or never cared to watch because I just never had the interest or there's been certain reasons why I haven't watched them. So, let's uh, let's get on with this. Let's get on to the first franchise that I've shockingly never seen. First franchise, The Godfather. That's correct, I've never seen any of The Godfather movies. And every single film snob I talk to, when they find out I've never seen a Godfather movie, go... <coughs> These are glasses, by the way. <laughs> Have you never seen The Godfather Part 2 or Part 1? Because they are two of the greatest masterpieces of all time. Do not call yourself a film critic or film fanatic if you've never seen The Godfather. They usually leave out Godfather 3 because, yeah, I know that's considered not very good. But right, okay, so the main reason why I've never seen Godfather 1, well, I mean... Once upon a time, in my university lecture, uh, the lecturer spoiled the first film for me. And I was pretty pissed off about that because I actually did want to watch The Godfather eventually. I didn't know when I was going to get around to it, but I was intending to at some point. But uh, yeah, my lecturer spoiled it for me. So I was just like, so any sort of interest or, any, or sort of drive to watch it immediately evaporated because I was like, well now I know what the fuck happens. I've got no interest, I've got no... Point, there's no point in me watching it anymore. So then obviously I've not seen Godfather Part 2 because I'm not going to watch Godfather Part 2. That's in Part 1. Why would I do that? And then Part 3. Well, nobody says anything good about Part 3. So why would I watch that? So yeah, any film snobs watching this, you might say, do not call yourself a film buff if you've never seen The Godfather. How about this? Read this shirt. Read this shirt. The shirt doesn't lie. The second franchise. Oh, this is a doozy. Indiana Jones. It's Indiana Jones. A classic franchise. Yes, it's up there with Star Wars, it's up there with all the big, big franchises, I know. Now, I have seen Kingdom of the Crystal Skull. Yes, the best one. I, I know it's not the best one, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. I saw Kingdom of the Crystal Skull when I was a kid, like, near when it came out on DVD, which was like, what, 2008? Yeah, it was just on the TV once and I watched it. Other than that, I just never watched, I just never had any interest in watching it growing up and I still don't really have much interest in watching it. The problem is it's one of them franchises that's held in such high regard now that all this hype, if I watch it they're bound to not be as good as they're being built up to be. I'm not saying they're going to be bad, I'm just saying when something's hyped up so much and you've never seen it, naturally it's not going to quite live up to that legendary status that it's, that it's actually got. So, you know, I will probably watch them eventually. I just, I'm, I'm not in a hurry to watch any of them. I know it's a Harris, Harrison Ford classic. I know it's one of them franchises that are amazing. I know that Sean Connery plays his dad at one point. And I love Sean Connery. I, he's my favorite Bond. James Bond. Yeah, that's pretty simple. That's why I've never seen Indiana Jones, apart from Kingdom, The Crystal Skull. And even then, I mean, it's been a long, long time. It's been years since I've seen it. But even when I watched it, I don't remember it being as bad as everybody says. Although I was a kid at the time, so. I can't really distinguish a good film from a bad one back then. So yeah, come at me with your pitchforks and torches! Next one, this is this is just a franchise that I, I, I definitely don't have any interest in seeing and I never ever will. This is the Fast and Furious franchise. Now, I've seen two, uh, actually not a lie, I've seen three. I've seen Fast and Furious 
5 and I've seen Fast 7. And I only saw those because they were just days out to the cinema with my friends at the time. It wasn't because it was that film in particular, it's just that was on, we went to the cinema as a day out with my friends. That was the only reason I saw it. I had no desire, I had not seen any of the previous ones, and I, had, and I never cared to. Although I have seen Hobbs and Shaw, I did watch Hobbs and Shaw when that came out, and I did enjoy that. Uh, because I really like The Rock, it's one of my favourite wrestlers, so there's that, and it's not really about cars. Yeah, that, that's why I never I don't have any interest in watching this film. I'm not a, I'm not a big car guy. As a, I'm not a car guy at all. I, I, I cannot I can't point at a car to you in the street and say, that's that car from that brand. I can't do it. I'm not a big car guy, unless it's an Audi. Especially, actually, specifically an Audi R8. I love Audi R8s. Mm. Oh, that's my dream car. Besides Audi R8s, if it's got four wheels and an engine, I'm fine. I, I, I mean, I can't drive, but when and if I ever do learn to drive, I'll be happy with four wheels and an engine. I don't care what kind of car it is. Yeah, I have no interest in cars. I have no passion for racing, nothing like that. And it started off as a racing sort of film franchise. It sort of gradually become this ridiculous over the top action franchise, but cars are still the core thing, and that's what draws people into it the most. So yeah, and I'm not big on Vin Diesel. I don't know. I don't, it's just, Vin Diesel does not appeal to me whatsoever. He's just obsessed with family. And his, what's his name? Dominic Toretto? Why, why, why do I know that? So yeah, Fast and Furious. Now, you, again, you, you lot can look at me and be like, hey, he doesn't know nothing about film. He's never watched Fast and Furious. Sod off! I'm, jo I'm joking. I'm joking. If you love them, if you love these franchises, good on you. Good on you. Now this is the big one. This is a doozy. Brace yourself for this one. Harry Potter. Harry Harry Potter. Harry Harry Potter, Harry, Harry Potter, Harry, Harry Potter franchise. Yes. No. Uh, I, I, <laughs> Out of the core Harry Potter movies, I've seen the first one and I've seen Goblet of Fire. Why you ask? Well, I start, I watched the first one with my with one of my best friends. And then I was like, okay, let's watch. We'll do. Well, let's watch the second one, Chamber of Secrets. And she. And then she was like, nah, I fancy Goblet of Fire. And I was like, do I not sort of need to watch them all in order to understand what's going on? And she was like, no, you don't. You'd be fine. So I watched Goblet of Fire, and they're the only two I've seen. And I enjoyed them both. And I've also seen the first two Fantastic Beasts. That counts. Right? Yeah, uh, the reason why well, I've never seen Harry Potter because when I was a kid, I, I never had any interest in that stuff. I never had any interest in magic, wizards, uh, sort of fantasy, all that stuff. I was never into that as a kid. And to be honest, I'm not really into that now. Um, but as a kid, in particular, Harry Potter, I just resented it. I was just like, everybody what shut up about Harry Potter. Just, no, I'm not bothered. I don't want to watch Harry Potter. It looks crap. I just had no interest as a kid in watching Harry Potter whatsoever. had no desire. Zero. The desire as a kid was zilch. But you know, I, I do want to watch them now. I've matured and I, I, I do eventually want to watch Harry Potter, all the films back to back because, you know, they look fun. I know that they're supposed to be fun and there's some interesting mythology in it. Yeah, this is a big one. Everybody, anybody that I meet or talk to who suddenly finds out I've never watched a Harry Potter film, their jaws drop to the floor more than any of the franchises that they found out I've not seen so far on this list and just say, what? How have you never seen all the Harry Potter movies? Blasphemy! Yeah, they all sneeze in my face when they find out that I've, I've not... I've not got Harry Potter. Is that where COVID-19 came from? I wonder if that's because I don't I've never watched Harry Potter. Now that would be a mystery solved. So yeah, this was a, 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 a nice video. This was a good video, wasn't it? Did you enjoy yourself? I know I did, talking about franchises I've never seen. But it's different. It's, it's so, talking about something generally different on this channel, other than Marvel and Doctor Who related stuff. And more broad variety of topics is coming to this channel, don't you worry. I just thought it'd be an interesting topic to talk about franchises that are big that I've never seen. I've not really seen anybody do stuff like this on YouTube. Who knows, maybe it's a stupid idea. So yeah, guys, 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 guys and gals, don't crucify me in the comments. I mean, you can for your country, but, you know, at least just, just see, just see reason. Just understand that I, I've never seen these franchises. Because, alright? Don't, don't kill me. Don't get your pitchforks out. Don't crucify me in the comments for not watching your favourite franchises. It is what it is. This is the world we live in, okay? We can't watch every single franchise out there, can we? No matter how much we love films. It's just how it is. So, ladies and gentlemen, more videos to come during this great lockdown period. I hope you enjoyed watching. Give it a thumbs up if you liked the video. Give it a thumbs down if you didn't. 
I won't hold anything against you. Comment down below any franchises that you've not seen either. I'm sure there's plenty of you out there that haven't seen any big franchises either. So, if you haven't, let me know. Have a nice discussion. Thank you again as always, ladies and gentlemen. And ciao. For now.